Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my 2013 NFL Draft team-by-team -team recaps, analysis, and final grades. Uh, this video is for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers had six picks in all uh, in this draft. Uh, the first of those was in round two because they traded their first round pick uh, to the New York Jets in the Darrell Revis trade. And with the first pick, uh, number 43 overall, they get Jonathan Banks, the cornerback from Mississippi State. Banks is a big physical corner, drafted a little bit after um, his Mississippi State teammate Darius Slay. And, you know, while Jonathan Banks' numbers at the Combine uh, weren't out of this world, which is, I think, why you saw him even slip to pick 43, I like him as a situ as a scheme fit there in Tampa and a guy I think that will compete for playing time right away opposite Darrell Revis. And, look, you got to have a guy opposite Darrell Revis with thick skin and with some talent because he's going to be getting thrown at constantly he's going to make some bad plays he's going to make some good plays but you got to have a guy who i think and i think banks is that guy where if he lets up a big play he can shake it off and come back the next time because i can tell you from watching revis play his whole career no one is going to throw to his side at all and it'd be smart to do that so look for jonathan banks to get tested early and often and we'll see if he's up to the challenge pick 73 mike glennon the quarterback from and NC State. Picked in the third round here, guys, and for months, if you listen to this YouTube channel, I've been saying how I don't think the Buccaneers are sold on Josh Freeman as their long-term starter. I'm not sold on Josh Freeman as a long-term starter, and I think this pick is sort of indicative on the organization's feelings um, of Josh Freeman. Have they given up on him? No. But they're sort of putting him on notice with this pick of Glennon because Glennon, Glennon is another scheme fit for this team. He's a big arm, throw the ball down the field kind of quarterback, and they've built their offense like that. So um, definitely Josh Freeman, this is sort of a make-or-break year for him in Tampa. He's, his contract is up after this year. I think if you see him have a good year, they re-up him. If he doesn't have a good year, they have Glennon waiting in the wings now. Pick number 100. Uh, they had they took Akeem Spence, the defensive tackle from Illinois. Uh, Spence is thought to be a two-down run stuffer type of player um, in the Bucks defense. He's a little smallish to play that role, 300 pounds, a little over 300 pounds. The coaching staff, however, from all reports that I read, like his quickness and his ability to get up the field to stop the run. So you got Akeem Spence, who will probably contribute for playing time right away, if not be a starter at the defensive tackle spot for the Buccaneers. Pick 126, William Golston, the defensive end for Michigan State. Um, what Golston lacks in pass rushing skills, he more than ma makes up for with his long arms, his ability to hold the edge, and be good against the run. Look, there's two sides of it. There's the pass rushing guys, but you need to get to those pass rushing downs first. And Golston's a guy who I think will be, again, a two-down player, and he'll probably bring in someone to rush the passer and sub for him, like on a third down, obvious passing type situation. But look for Golston with his long arms to be productive for the Buccaneers, if not this year, definitely next year, as a guy who can hold that edge in the run game. 147, Stephen Means, the defensive end from Buffalo. Uh, you know, Dominic, the GM, and Shiano are both on record as saying they love what this guy can bring um, from a pass rushing standpoint. Uh, he's 6'3", 250 pounds, a big guy. They like his versatility. And again, this is the guy maybe they got to compliment Golston to be the pass rushing threat to his run stopping threat. Pick 189, Mike James, the running back from Miami, 5'10", 220 pounds, will probably be uh, they compared him to Ernest Graham, Mark Dominic did, and I think that's pretty high praise because I think uh, the Tampa Bay Bucks thought a lot of Graham as a player while he was there, an unselfish guy who's who can adapt to different roles, which I think they think they have in Mike James, and to get him this late in the draft, if he can be half of what Ernest, Ernest Graham was for this team, they got a steal here. Guys, that's my analysis of the six picks of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this draft. Um, I give them a solid B+, plus because I think at least the first four guys they picked will be contributors or starters day one, week one for this team. A team that is on the rise and is looking to make a push towards the playoffs this season, a lot of which hinges on Josh Freeman. I just said, you know, obviously other than Mike Lennon. Mike Lennon won't be a, a day one, week one starter, but a guy I think they have plans for. But you look at Banks, Spence, Golston, and maybe even Means. I think they'll have a role from week one and be good uh, for the Bucks as they go along here. So not 
a high volume of picks for the Buccaneers, but I like the guys they picked here. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. Guys, be sure to join the conversation here. Um, and uh, be sure to subscribe as well. You guys see I uploaded over 500 videos here on YouTube, always talking about sports. So, again, feel free to join the conversation. Be sure to subscribe, and have a great day.